I am fumbling for a second here at I like your jacket. Why, thank you. It's warm and I like your dress. It looks amazing. Thank you. Thank you. I feel like a snowflake. <gasps> you are a snowflake. <laughs> there. Uh, great to see you tonight. Uh, so you were in a little thing called the Olympics and stuff, if I remember correctly? What was that? You were like a little something called the Olympics and stuff, if I remember correctly? Oh. <laughs> a little, yeah. little something like that, yeah. <laughs> so uh, how have you been doing? What brings you out tonight to Make-A-Wish? Um, well, I support Make-A-Wish and I feel like it's a great opportunity for, it's a great opportunity for uh, kids to go out and, you know, make wishes for something that they're extremely passionate about and a couple of weeks ago I had the opportunity to grant a wish there was a little girl named Avery and hopefully we'll get to meet soon but she is a doll she's adorable and um, I had such a great experience granting her wish that I would love to do more in the future if possible so I feel like these kids are so inspiring to me oh my goodness. Uh, so what have you done with the kids like so have you met uh, other kids beforehand or is Avery your first Avery was my first wish, so that was very, very sweet, and hopefully I get to do more because I feel like these kids, they go through so much, and so to be able to make wishes like that, and it's like an honor to be included. So. Exactly. Brighten them up a little bit, have that awesome time. And it's good. It's awesome. So I'm glad. And so you are uh, doing also other projects as well, and uh, so like Dancing with Stars and such? Yes. Yeah, so cool. um, I'm now, we're about to do our Dancing with the Stars tour, and that's really exciting just because I had such an amazing experience on the season, and I'm glad I get to kind of prolong that and, you know, keep that going. So that's exciting. And, and plus it'll be a good way to help promote more of this as well in the big eye, in, her, I in the public so. eye, so yeah. it'd be great, I love it. Well, good luck to you, and can't wait to see what else you can do. Thank you. Lori Hernandez, you had the most incredible year, winning gold at the Olympics, winning Dancing with the Stars. How has your year been? Um, it's been amazing. I mean, it's definitely been a whirlwind, but it's been exciting because I've been able to do gymnastics and now I'm dancing and um, hopefully I just kind of keep the pattern going and I want to try all new things so yeah it's exciting. and you're about to go on tour with Dancing with the Stars Yay. so are you excited about that what are you looking forward to um just being with everyone I mean I had a, an amazing experience while I was on the season and I love dancing it's a passion of mine so now I get to kind of extend the season into the tour and I don't want it to end so <laughs> do you have a favorite dance that you want to redo because you're redoing your dances correct um, uh, probably the freestyle. Freestyle! Yeah. We liked that one. We liked that one. Now, what brings you out today? Um, well, I do support Make-A-Wish, and actually a couple weeks ago I had the opportunity to grant a wish. There's a little girl, her name was Avery, and she wanted to be an Olympic gymnast for a day, so I wasn't able to meet up with her, but hopefully soon I think we'll get to meet. And I sent her a video, and, you know, I feel like 
my job is to kind of go and help other kids and to help everyone and hopefully be inspiring because I feel like that's something I carry on my shoulders. So. You are extremely inspiring and the fact that you're 16 years old and you've done so much, I mean, people look up to you, even I look up to you and I'm older than you, so you. you're doing something right. And I'm so sorry to hear about your grandma. How is the family doing? Um, Pretty good. I mean, I actually got a really cute blanket that was sent to me. It was a picture of me and my grandma, so I kind of travel with that everywhere now. It's adorable. So. That's awesome. Now, if you had one wish, what would you want? One wish? Oh boy. Um, <laughs> You're on the spot. Uh, unlimited wishes and to give them to everyone so that way everyone has unlimited wishes. You kind of look like a star or like a, a snowflake. I feel like a snowflake. <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming out tonight. Thank Have you. fun. So congratulations on your gold medal at the Olympics and congratulations for winning Dancing with the Stars. What was more stressful for you? Um, both. They were both equally pretty stressful. I think gymnastics, you know, the Olympics was very stressful because I had trained my whole life for it and it was something that I was very passionate about. But at the same time, dance was stressful because, you know, I had a small amount of time to learn how to professionally dance. So that was stressful and I wanted to make sure it was perfect because I feel like, you know, everyone's a perfectionist in some way. So that was my way of kind of being analytical about it. But. Yeah, I mean, it was extremely exciting, and now I'm on the Dancing with the Stars tour, so ah. I get to kind of extend that. So, yeah. Well, I was at the Grove in the audience watching the last show, and it was absolutely incredible. The energy, I loved it. So, congratulations again. And then, speaking of tonight, how did you get involved with Make a Wish? Um, well, I mean, I do support Make a Wish, so. I actually had the opportunity a couple weeks ago to grant a wish to a little girl named Avery and she wanted to be an Olympic gymnast for a day so hopefully I get to meet her soon. And your career is so amazing at the moment. What advice do you have for young girls who would like to follow in your footsteps? Um, my advice would probably be just uh, don't limit yourself because I feel like, you know, I was able to do gymnastics and now I'm dancing and I want to try a lot of new things even though, you know, some may be uncomfortable, some may be out of my league, but I still want to try them and I feel like you know, because, you know, even in Dancing with the Stars, I've had to step out of my comfort zone and it led to great things. So I want to try other things. So. Where is your trophy at the moment or your medal? Um, it's like in the middle of my house. <laughs> I think it's a beautiful concept. I feel like these kids are all very important. And so I actually had the opportunity to grant someone's wish. It was a little girl named Avery. She wanted to be an Olympic gymnast for a day. So um, I sent her a leotard and it was just, it was so sweet. So I hope to have other wishes in the future. Um, I think that these wishes are extremely important because some of these kids or most of these kids go through so much. And I feel like they're a lot stronger than a lot of us are. and. For them to make a wish, it's something that they feel passionate about, and I feel like you shouldn't limit them. So, I encourage wishes. <laughs> okay, we're here with Lori Hernandez. How are you, Lori? Good. How are you? How's How's life after Rio? Um, pretty good. <laughs> Congratulations on all your hard work and all your success. Thank you so much. Uh, what are we doing here tonight? Um, well, tonight I. I do support Make a Wish, and so actually a couple weeks ago I had the opportunity to go and grant a wish for a little girl named Avery, and um, she wanted to be an Olympic gymnast for a day, so it was really inspiring, and hopefully we'll get to meet soon. That's awesome. Um, what what's keeping you busy these days? Um, well, I'm on a Dancing with the Stars tour now, so that's really exciting. And wow. Yeah, I mean that goes on until I think Valentine's Day. So. Well, congratulations.